Hello. Hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing all right tonight. I have done our research for this week. I, I have no snappy intro this week. I'm sorry. I just I, I focused all my energy on doing the research for this week. So apologies for that. This is a new color of blocks, so I'm already intrigued by what's going on here. Well, we had these blocks last week also when we were playing with the Armenians. So this is going to be somewhat similar. Well, in fact, it's going to be very similar to that. But uh, let, let me forego this no further. And welcome to everybody watching this after the fact. And we'll just dive right into this. Tonight we are working on Scenario 402, the Battle of Carhe in 53 BC. So let me give you a little bit of background first. In 56 BC, during Caesar's Cisalpine campaign, the, the first triumvirate, which consisted of course of Caesar, Crassus, and Pompey, met a couple of times at Ravenna and then at Lucca to hash out the political details and other patronage agreements that uh, would be beneficial to all the parties. The goal for this was to scheme a way to maintain military protectorship in Gaul for Caesar, while Crassus and Pompey would be awarded the proconsulship for a successive period since they'd already been there for a year. They would do this by marshalling their supporters and political allies and military connections, but uh, they weren't above using some direct intimidation and bargaining and, of course, some political trickery. Through their political allies, they got the Lex Trebonius passed, which extended the proconsulships to five year periods, and would then also award control of Hispania to Pompey, which we had seen in the past, and Syria to Crassus. And that's going to lead directly into our story tonight. While all this was going on, of course, there's political intrigue of its own that's occurring in the Near East, near Syria. And it was a war of succession that was breaking out in Parthia. King Phraates III had been killed by his two sons, and their names are Orodes II and, wait for it, yet another Mithridates. This one is Mithridates IV. Not content... Man, <laughs> they can't get rid of those guys. Severely bad drachmas. Uh, not content to simple rage aside, the two brothers begin to fight each other for control of that Parthian throne. At first, Orides was victorious, and he did the brotherly thing and gave his losing brother a small governorship as an attempt at a compromise or at least some kind of a token peace offering. However, eventually the brothers clashed again, and Mithridates was forced to flee to the Roman province of Syria. And there he sought aid and protection from then-governor Aulus Gabinius. And that name will be important. This request struck Gabinius as an opportunity to maybe expand Rome's sphere in the region if he were to assist Mithridates to take that throne. Thus, he would become a loyal and beholden puppet to the Roman Republic. But at this point, after agreeing to help him, Gabinius decided that there were better political opportunities in helping Ptolemy XII, who had offered to have him come down and assist. So he left Mithridates to his own destiny and moved south to Egypt to follow in this new role. And of course, true to his intent, Mithridates did mount a solo attempt to invade Babylon, but he met defeat and a subsequent execution against the commanding general that we will see here tonight, Serena. That brings us to Crassus, and as we've seen, a lot of these scenarios kind of lend us back into some more of that back history for these. This is Crassus' uh, spotlight tonight, and it's speculated that greed, although we know a lot about Crassus and all of his money, but greed was not a motivating factor for the very wealthy Crassus to go to Syria for this expedition. His envy was probably the bigger factor because he was uh, looking at the military glory of Pompey and Caesar, and really all he had to his name was defeating Spartacus back in 71. And even then, Pompey took credit exactly, for that. Exactly, exactly. I arrived just in time! Crassus also believed that this would just be an easy campaign, so it was assured victory, and it was based largely on what he considered the best army that he could buy. So using that same wealth of his, after he arrived in Syria in 55 BC, as the new governor, 
he assembled anywhere from uh, 28 to 35,000 heavy infantry. That's seven legions. He bought 4,000 light infantry from the locals and something like 4,000 cavalry, of which 1,000 of those were actually led by his son Publius, who brought them from the Gallic campaigns, and they were veteran Gauls from that area. At this time, then, the Armenian king, seeing what was going to happen and knew that Crassus was going to make an attempt to quell things. King Artavastes from Armenia offered additional infantry and cavalry to Crassus and additionally offered to lead him into Parthia by way of Armenia so that uh, it would be an easier route rather than through the deserts that are farther south in Iraq. Crassus, however, declined that offer and he intended to march through Mesopotamia because he wanted to capture the great cities of that region while en route to take on Rhodes. Rhodes learned of this intent by Crassus, so he took his military force and he split it in two. He sent one part of it to Armenia to garrison it in case that they would come back through there and also to punish them for his treachery but he sent a cavalry of something like 10,000 horses on a delaying maneuver to face off against Crassus farther south in Mesopotamia. Crassus was advised by a local chieftain to the area named Ariomenes, who was secretly loyal to those Parthians. So he was giving Crassus basically all the information that he wanted to hear. Oh, they're so weak, you should attack them now. And he was just constantly trying to incite the Roman to turn and go directly to face the Parthians. Uh, he was worm tongue. He was exactly right. Uh, Ariomnes also caused delays by intentionally, oopsie, misdirecting the army through the desolate wastes where they were lacking water and provisions. So the men are slowly falling apart from this uh, this deprivation and thirst. When Crassus finally got messages from Armenia that the attack was already underway, Crassus ignored them and he said, no, no, I'm going to focus on Mesopotamia. I really want to capture these famed cities. And he left the Armenians to their own devices. But in doing so, he was intercepted by the other force of 10,000 cavalry near the town of Carhe, which is where we are laying our scene tonight. Um, this was led by Serena and the Parthian cavalry. So let's, uh, let's transition over to the battle itself here proper tonight. We see all the elements here on the board. We actually have Cassius, Crassus, and Publius, his, uh, Crassus' son there, and uh, they all factor into the story. Most of the accounts of this battle come from Plutarch, and it's, uh, it's it's very detailed, and it's one of the more detailed bits of information that we have for this period. Crassus was being advised by Cassius that when they arrived, they should use those standard Roman formations of very wide lines and flanks, and just stretch it out as widely as possible. And Crassus originally agreed to that, but once he saw the cavalry coming in, he decided to do something a little different. He wanted to form them into squares. That would allow them to protect all of those flanks, but at the same time, it would cost them some of that valuable mobility. Once they arrived at a stream the night before what would become the battle, Crassus decided to draw up the forces and just get ready but the Parthians used this as an opportunity to harass and annoy them and intimidate them. So they were using loud horns and banging drums and preventing them from sleep. We've seen this before in some of the other scenarios. But they would also do little small hit and fade attacks to keep the Romans very anxious about that impending battle. Serena, we see here on the heavy cataphract, he originally intended to utilize those cataphract cavalry to just smash into the Roman lines. He predicted that they would originally do what the Romans always do and just have multiple lines and he was just going to crash right through them. But when he saw them draw, draw up into squares, he changed his tactics to use the light cavalry and horse archers to just keep a constant rain of missile fire on the slow and heavy approaching infantry. And these arrows are pretty powerful. They're powerful enough to pierce the shields and light armor. And there are also accounts of the shields uh, being pinned together as they were so close. They'd be pinned uh, and then actually pinned to the person's body by the arrow, the shaft of the arrow. Uh, there was also gruesome accounts of the arrows coming down at such an angle that they would pierce uh, through the infantry's feet and pin them to the ground momentarily. Uh, each time Crassus would then order the legions to advance and engage the cavalry, what would the cavalry do? They would just simply skitter away and continue their reign of arrows. Um, 
So Crassus is hoping to hold out until the arrows were depleted, but he was unaware that Serena had camel caravans that were just constantly resupplying the arrows to the cavalry over and over again. So they'd run out of arrows, they'd go back, they'd get some more, and they'd come back and just do some more missile fire. But that would prove to be his undoing. Publius' cavalry which we see here on the right flank, he would eventually get separated off and then defeated in detail. And once he's surrounded, Publius will commit suicide. They will take his head and put it on a spear, and when Crassus goes to aid, he doesn't know what the situation is with Publius, but when he goes to, to lend aid to that flank, he encounters the spear with his son's head upon it, and that had such a psych psychological effect that he was undone at that point. They were just constantly being withered away, so he calls a retreat. They fall back to the town of Carhe. They lay up there for the night. Everyone kind of goes to quarters for the evening, and then they begin the negotiation. Uh, within a day or two, Crassus and some of the other generals under flag of truce, go and negotiate with Serena. One of the things they're trying to do is just, uh, they're offered the ability to just go back to Syria. We'll let you go. But at some point, some pushing and shoving got started. Uh, one account is that somebody yanked on Crassus's horse's reins, and that caused a, a kerfuffle, and pretty soon the Romans were all killed. Another account is that uh, there was treachery, and they took Crassus off his horse, and they said, you love gold so much, they poured molten gold down his throat, killing him that way. We're not sure which one of those accounts is correct. There, there does seem to be consistency with the molten gold part, but whether or not he was killed that way, or if it was poured down his throat after death, e either way, but his head was used as a prop in plays, and this would be yet another major embarrassment for Rome because one of the other factors is they captured, they so defeated them, we saw this before, they captured so many of these uh, legionary eagles that are so prized. And this is probably the first thread that we see between this and then the death of Julia in 54, remember that Caesar's uh, daughter who's married to Pompey, between the death of Crassus, who was sort of the balancing factor between Pompey and Caesar, this defeat and the death of Crassus will lead us down those stair steps that will eventually bring us to the Roman Civil War that we did all of last expansion. Oh, and Cassius, of course, we'll see Cassius here again in 44 BC because he will be one of those plotters in the cabal against Caesar at the uh, Ides of March. So that is our battle tonight here at Carhe. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the War Council? So it's pretty straightforward tonight. Uh, the Parthenians get to move first. They'll have six command cards. Uh, the Romans will go second, and they'll only have four cards. We're playing to seven banners tonight. Even though these are red blocks, and we are not going to use the Julian rules um, to simulate the effect that these, these forces are exhausted and and thirst stricken will use just the regular Marian Legion rules. So they'll still have their missile weapons, but they won't get their bonus move for those medium troops. Oh, and that heavy troop. Yeah, another very straightforward one tonight, I think. Not a lot of flash to it, but this is an entire cavalry. We've seen, I think that we've seen this in one scenario before. Just one side is all cavalry. I can think of one or two cards that will make this very, very nice for the Parthians if, uh, if they should start with that card. But uh, otherwise, we just don't know. And, and they're starting with six cards, so this could be pretty hard for the Romans tonight. It, oh, oh, obviously it's both. Yes. Well, you know, and looking online, it seems like it's it's a pretty balanced affair, which I'm surprised. But I think that the heavy infantry versus the light cavalry, there could be a lot of if flags come up. They could, uh, you know, if they're not supported, they could run away pretty easily. But mm. I will. Uh, I am going to draw up six cards then. Six cards indeed. I have my four. All right. Well, allow me to wish you good luck this evening. Thank you, and good luck to you as well. Bold opening gambit will the uh, Parthenians partake? That is a really, really great question. Mounted, mounted charge, move mounted units, mm. perhaps move, fire move. Oh my god. That would be, <laughs> that would be yeah. So gross. No, you know what? We're gonna we're just gonna get rid of a double time card because it has Ooh. absolutely no 
good use for me, so I'm going to use it to... I don't have any foot units, so I'll order one unit of my choice. And I'm going to bring this heavy cavalry here. And I think we're just going to have him go two spaces out to there. And that is all. Okay. I will move, fire, and move. I figured you might have that card. It just rolled off your tongue that way. So, this one here, he's just going to attack. You uh, need that to do your movement first. Oh. Well. Let's see, then. He will one, two, three, four, that. So there's my movement. They're not moving. Okay. Back to this guy. He's attacking that like cavalry with two dice. Ooh. Save that for later. Yep. Alright, that one with two dice. Mm, nothing. I'll end up with another row. Okay. Move. Alright, so I'm done moving and Go. All right. I think we'll do four on the left. Let's see. We'll have this one fire it there with two dice. Forcing that range two, huh? Yeah. All right. Well. So we'll just move back down the line here. I'll fire at that one. Two dice. Ooh. All right. And then finally this one. There. Two dice. One hit. That Pretty effective fire. Yeah. That is all. Or three on the right. And reenact Publius's ill advised charge. Alright, attacking there with two dice with leader support. Uh, they will stand. And light evade light? Yes. Yeah, lights can always evade everything. Except for auxilia. Okay. Where's the hit? Oh, yeah, leader. And we'll give you two back. One hit. And same target. Two dice. They are going to go. Yeah, they'll stand. Another hit. Hit. And two back. They retreat. Potentially, if you wish. They will retreat four. No. I'll keep them there. Okay. That's it. Two on the left. Start with that. Four dice plus leader bonus. Advance battle against hmm, yeah we'll go against that one. What would they like to do? They would evade four dice looking for green circles only. Good evade. And then finally this light bow against your medium cavalry. Two dice plus leader. Getting a hit. Here's a leader check. Three dice back. Okay. Two. Nope, oh, oh, just one. Sorry. Okay. Two on the right. Those two. For that light up there. Um, they'll evade. Okay. 
Be nice. Nothing. Going after that light there. Uh, they will evade that. Okay. Three dice. Two on the left again. Ooh. <laughs> Leader bonus. Advance and go after Publius. What would Publius like to do? I well, guess you're heavy. Aren't yeah. You? Yes. Okay. So four dice looking for triangles. Great of eight. Right. And the light bow cavalry here will take a shot at him as he departs. One die. Nothing. Yeah, I'll ignore that. Or some medium troops. Away! Evade. Four dice. Well evaded. Throw a spear. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm done. Do three in the center. Dice. Hit. Move down the line. Two dice. Miss. And last one. Two dice. Miss. Order two in the center. Two. Hmm. We will evade that. Four dice. One hit. hit. Here's a leader check. Hmm. Glad those three. Yeah, we'll evade that one. Okay. Four dice. Straight back. Hmm. Two in the center. Fire. Two dice at him. Nothing. And two dice from the sky. Nothing. Right. Those three. Uh, we will evade that. Okay. Four dice. Hmm. One hit. That was a well, well, good evade. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm done. I will do outflanked. Outflanked. Those two. Okay. This one here. 
So we'll fire some arrows at your mediums out there in the open. Two dice. Nothing. And these guys will do four dice against your mediums with leader support. And kill them. Advance, move one, battle again against these guys. Four dice, leader bonus, just one. Battling back. Ooh, look at that. Too greedy. And leader check. Nice five. Okay, and then. These light bow moved, they'll just shoot one one arrow at the same target. Nothing. Counter attack. Those four units. To that cavalry with those mediums. They will evade. Four dice. One hit. Against that cavalry. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Three dice. Hmm. Those guys. Dice. Oh, two dice back. Ooh, a hit. There's leader check on Publius. He's fine. One spear. I got that heavy cataphract cavalry. Oh. Um, Do you fear my light troops? Yeah, no, that's fine. They'll stand. All right. So I didn't warn you. <laughs> okay. Two dice. Oh, Ooh. got a hit. Got a hit. Your check. Ooh. So close. Should have killed me. Here's four dice back with leader. Ah, uh, just a hit and a retreat. I would have liked to have taken out that other cavalry, and I would have felt a lot better about this turn. What do you got? Got a mounted charge. Of course. <laughs> of course you do. Of course I do. All right. Let's see. I will point out that the card says unit to its close combat battle with one additional dice, so not missile. Fire. Correct, yeah. Yeah, and it says units may not fire. So. And units may not fire. Okay. All right. So where are you going first? Well, let's, uh, let's start here. We'll do two dice plus leader bonus. Okay. He escapes. Should have done that the last turn. Right. Okay. Um, hmm. right, let's see if we can't finish him this time. Can't evade me because you're bigger. So, uh, two dice plus leader bonus. One hit. That's what it takes. Publius head on a spike. It is. Come on, man. Uh, go there. There. And...
battle again against them. Two dice, false leader. Nothing. Two hits. Okay. Can I just use those two leader <laughs> dice there? If only, right? Close. Close. Close doesn't count. count. All right. Um, let's do this one here. Two dice. Straight up. Get a hit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Could be. Maybe. Ooh. One, two, three, and a block for their loss. Just remember that roll when you move on down to the <laughs> right. Uh, right flank. That's right. Um, yeah. Let's go. Got to keep on going? No, no, I'm not going to press it with those light bow. That's fine. He, he, he broke his way out. So uh, so four dice on the from Cataphract to Cassius. Here we go. Leader bonus. Oh. And one more for Cassius. He's fine. Uh, and the other, oh, so I can advance, and we'll battle again here. What would they like to do? And I'm, I'm, I've been missing my, my mounted charge bonuses the whole time, because I'm an idiot. So, I will take it now, because I'm stupid. <sighs> we, you know, we just get so into this because you did the first strike, and I just didn't even think about it, and it just threw me off my games. I mean, the only the only place it would have had impact is that one light bow against right. the the medium. So go ahead and make that one okay. die roll there. Right. See what Let's see what happens up here. Uh, so one, it didn't happen. Okay. Don't have enough for that. And then down here, we're gonna have five dice against Cassius. Okay. So looking for green circles, three of them. Oh, oh man, that was so beautiful. All right, that is all. Okay, so I will draw my card. Try and rally. Of course. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I think I'm just going to do heavy troops. Serena and the other one. Just come out here. And we'll come down here to an attack against Cassius with four dice plus leader bonus. That'll do. Dice were certainly in your favor tonight. They were tonight. in my favor tonight, yes. Yep. They despised me. Oh, yeah. Spit upon me. <laughs> Called your grandmother a whore. Kicked, kicked my dog. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Get your last look in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's, does Cassius fall? Have we saved Caesar? We have not. Caesar will still die. Uh, okay. Well, there you go. Uh, <sighs> I was uh, well. I was starting to fret there when you decided you were going to take Publius right in and scatter them. Uh, I mean, the only that was the only my only hope was to scatter and pin. You had already whittled that force down that I was trying to pin with. Right. You know, just great roll. Well, that first that first strike tonight. was amazingly timed, just because it it got Publius away. I, I just I had just drawn that yeah. too, but. Yeah. And I it saved him one and round. I had just gotten the uh, the mounted charge. That was the only reason I decided to swarm on Publius because otherwise I was like, I gotta get away from this guy. And then <laughs> six horses coming barreling out of nowhere. Uh, that seemed like the appropriate time to do that. But we will try to do some saging of the dice here for Peter. And uh, we're gonna take a five minute break, and we will be back with round two. We have returned round two. Parthians versus Romans. I'm gonna get the Romans now. Can I can I do something differently? 
we shall see. Or Parthi- at least roll better. Well, the Parthians are pretty stout. I mean, there's no two ways about it. The more I think about this one, uh, even even when we had the barbarians with all the battle chariots, and it was just hit and fade, hit and fade, evade, 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 that's what this one is really, of course, set up to do. Indeed. Indeed. All right, so Go ahead. six cards. <laughs> Telling you, man, you get a dark in the sky. That's just whew, pain. Yeah, that that would be fantastic. All right, I will grab my four. Uh, they're 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 yeah, they're four cards. Well, good luck. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Enjoy your condolence cookie. I am. It's very good. Makes me feel better. Not much. Just a little. Yeah, you need the dopamine fix. Get these out of my hand. Yep. That's exactly the way I felt. I had two double times that game. I killed some of those. Well, you know what? Let's do this. Activate our light troops. We'll do this for. Okay. And do this one first. He did not move, so he'll fire two arrow or two volleys of spears at them. Same with this one, just one. Yay! And then here, we'll go to this one in the center. Two dice, because they did not move. Getting a hit. Alrighty, you're rolling better than I did. Don't try this. <laughs> then, then one die from the light cav. Nothing. Grouping, two volleys, or in this case, two dice. Wow. Hmm. Uh, they have to take one of them, so. Okay, well, I guess since he's out of the picture, I a long range attack there. Fly. Shift our target to there. Two dice. A hit. And another volley. Same target. Hmm. I think we'll do two on the left. Hey, welcome back. Hey, hello. We'll do Two dice from this one. Nothing. And then one die from that one. Nothing. So those start down here. And two dice. Hmm. Indeed, a withering hail. Yeah, but that retreat gets him out of the line of fire. Two dice against that medium unit. And two dice against those lights. This is why we're not on camera. I have no <laughs> poker face. Oh, yeah. And, and just the, the crestfallen expression on my face as I draw yet another line command card. Too much to, to bear. I would just give it give the whole game away. Well, sir. I think I will do Dark in the Sky. See, much like you 
reading me about the move fire move i kind of had a figure when when you mentioned dark in the sky well i I actually just drew it i was like oh hey but uh well you you spoke it into existence you (laughs) manifested it i did i did all right we'll start down here i need to manifest the spartacus card so we can shuffle the deck why don't you manifest me up a donut (laughs) <laughs> all right all right start down here first volley loose Ooh, terrible wrong kinds and in this story serena actually had all the heavy cataphracts cover all their armor on the horses with padding so that they didn't know what they were and then when they got in there they took all the padding off so that the glint of the armor would scare the romans true story all right uh second volley Boo! It's going to end terribly. Two more! Same target. Retreat! Huzzah! And... Second volley on this target here. Two dice. One hit. First volley this target here. Nothing. Second volley. Finally, first volley, nothing. Second volley, yay! All right, so ends that. So ends that. Burn it, baby. Do a move, fire, move. And then these guys down here will fire first. Alright. Here. Throwing one die. Nothing. Throwing one more die. Nothing. Here, throwing a die there. Two dice, rather. Nothing. And here, we'll do that target. Two dice. Aha! Hit! And retreat. Okay. In the second part of this, they will move back down. And move over. Those units. Right. One die. Oh no, a hit. Same target, one die. And same target again, one die. Every symbol. Mm-hmm. Two, three in the center. One die at him. Nothing. And one die at him also from this guy. Nothing. Two in the center. Four dice. Two arrows on your way out. Oh, that was stupid. That was really stupid. I didn't think about that. (laughs) 
Learn from my mistakes, people. Pay attention. I got got lucky. No, no, no. I I should have gone. I should have evaded the other way. I was stupid. Two, three in the center. Right. One on one, two dice. Nothing. Back. Oh. An insulting hit. Yes. And uh one die at that one. Nothing. Man. Broadside of the barn. Any troops. Those three. They like to do. Oh, they'll evade. More dice. Them. Also evade. Four dice for them. Do inspired right leadership. Yeah. shot here. Loose. Nothing. All right. Serena yells from across the battlefield. Crassus! Crassus! Guess who I am? Ah, in your <laughs> face, Crassus! I'm all six dice. Give me swords. Give me swords. Four dice. Whatever, give me four. All right. All right. 75% effective. Lose. We'll evade that. Five dice. Three volleys of arrows at Pubulus. Who oh, no. knew? <sighs> Picked the wrong one today. Jeez, you're kidding me. I'm not going to double down, so same target. You winged him, maybe. Yeah, leader check. No spike for you. Fight the conundrum. Mm -hmm. Force me into playing defense to protect those blocks. So, and that's effectively, those three blocks. I'm hoping to. A good chunk of my offense. To outflanked with those four. Comes. So the light cavalry over here we'll, did not move through two dice at your light bow. Oh, glory. And then follow up with Publius, what would they like to do? Evade. 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 Three dice, looking for green circles. Getting one. And 
this one will go into combat with your light cav there. They will stand. Excellent. Two dice. Nothing. Oh, send them packing. And these guys. <laughs> you didn't want it, did you? Alright, what about this one? No, I'll still stay. Two dice. Nothing. <laughs> Slap and tickle. Uh... All right, back to you. Counter attack. See, once again, stupid, stupid Patrick. <sighs> mm-hmm. Like cavalry will go first. We have three dice. We'll clear support. Two dice? Oh, two dice. Yes. You're right. But nothing. Okay. Doesn't matter. It would all have been for naught. Right. Two dice back. Two triangles or a triangle on a flag. A hit. And now four dice with leader. Mm, two hits. Two. Get back two. Ooh, we hit him. Here's a leader check. He's fine. All right, over here. Four dice against Publius. Uh, he will evade that. Just one hit. One hit on the way out. Leader check. He's fine. And a volley. Yo! Swing the horse. Yeah, I got to make the effort here. So no. charge. Yeah. Just moving him. This one first. Against? Good question. Against your light bow here. What would they like to do? I'll do that. I'm going to risk it. Okay, going to stay. So three dice plus leader bonus. One hit. Okay. Two dice back with leader bonus. Publius is going to risk it all here against that heavy cataphract. Four dice. Four dice plus leader bonus. Oh, wrong day. <sighs> Four dice back. Yep. Okay. Publius. Ah, oh, head on a spike. Head on a spike. Ah, uh, well, who wants to live forever? I would have done the same thing in your shoes. All right. Well, let's rip the band-aid off. Two dice, leader support. Quick and easy, right? 
Once once you can surround them, man, that's just yeah. But you still have a lot of hard targets out. In the world. Yeah. Ah. Yep. 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 Coordinated attack. Those three. Here, it's got one die. Get your light bow there. Nothing. It's got one die at your light cavalry here. Nothing. And then the the legions will approach your heavy counterfract. What would they like to do? Of course. Yeah, so we'll do four dice, looking for squares only. Somewhere Crassius is going, You Parthian bastards! You killed my son! Those four. Two dice. Hit and retreat. Same target, two dice. And same target, one die. I give you two minutes for you and your valiant men. Mm. So one die at them, nothing. And then four dice. Not sausage. Dice have gone extremely cold for the Romans tonight. Doesn't matter who's playing, it's just cold. Two dice back. Wow. Leader hits. Damn. I mean, there's there's just no reason that shouldn't work, but you know, dice, both of us. Dice, dice. That's Light troops. Pretty damn good card. One die. We're plinking. Two dice. Two dice on those lights. And two more dice. Same target. Oh well. I'll take it. Two on the left. Loose. Huzzah! Who we'll joined the line? And that is all. Close. Three. Four dice on those mediums. Two. Two. Okay. And four back. Perfectly average roll. Mm -hmm. One hit. Here's the leader check. Maybe two. 
Oh, close. Over here, this heavy cavalry against the mediums again. Four dice with leader support. Four more dice, same target. And for those mediums as well, four dice. Hit. Hit and two, two retreats. Hits. This is rough for the Romans. It really is, and I don't know why. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be because, I mean, uh, uh, eh. well, we'll talk about it after. Um, Two dice here. What would they like to do? Evade. Join the line of shame. One hit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Say it in. To the line of shame. With <laughs> to you. the line of shame. Uh, next target. Two dice. Circles only. Nothing. Go up there and show them what for. Two dice, one hit. Ah, Ash of shields. For the win. That's what I was trying to set up before, and then I got flagged. That's why I was that was why I was picking on the mediums because uh, right. they, yeah. they couldn't evade. So all in on this six dice against those mediums. There you go. Congratulations, man. I mean, you certainly did a lot more damage, even though you don't have the blocks. Right. Look at look at that line of of ones up there, and. When you started racing up there with those guys and throwing spears, I'm like, oh my god, he's, you know, I just got, you just got, I got lucky that your dice went cold on you because by rights, you should have just started just planking those guys off. So, do you want to know how to continue on with the theme of me not paying attention tonight? Um, I, I'm having an incredible moment now of final stupidity. The very last thing right before that, that I drew was first strike. And I didn't see it. I didn't see it. It was the fourth card on the right. I just, it, it came in. I just don't think about it. You know, it comes in and I'm just focused on what you're going to do. Well, okay. Well, let's, let's, let's see what would have happened. Okay. Let's see what would have happened. All right. So I am playing Clash of Shields. Ha ha. The ah. game is mine. Ha ha. First strike. Oh no! Oh, First no. strike! Let's see. Four dice against your heavy cavalry. Wouldn't have mattered. So. Yeah. So, anyway. Good game. But, yeah, uh, but it is is tough for the Romans it, for exactly what you said. It's like you can. you can. It, it is. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a Whitland. It's, it's the evasion because they're all light troops. And in both cases, for both of our playthroughs, the, the Roman dice were just fickle. Yeah, incredibly fickle. In that second game, you got a couple of perfect surrounds where I obviously overextended just a little bit with Publius. I only got one. I only got the one. I tried to get more. There were some instances where I could get more. You know, I was going to try and do it over on the, your left flank with yeah. your, your lights, but you, zip, you zipped zippy. away. Yes, they were zippy. Yeah. They were shock troops. Oh. 
and they were shocked that they didn't hit anything. But, uh, yeah, that is glorious to see that line of ones up there, but that doesn't bring home the bacon, right? That's one, no, two, it three, doesn't. four, five, five blocks that I did not get because I was not able to close the door. So, yep. like a poor marksman, I keep missing the target. Ah, oh, wow. Well. So final score tonight then is uh, Peter took seven uh, on this one. I took one. So that brings our grand total to uh, I have eight for the night, and Peter takes the series with ten. So, uh, yeah, definitely a, a tough one for the Romans. I can see why the stats are the way they are. But, it does again, it doesn't have to be. It's just the dice were incredibly cold for both of our playthroughs as the Romans. Because I don't think you and I particularly did anything bad. We tried different things. I was obviously going for... Uh, Try what you could with four cards. Right, exactly. But uh, you play to the strengths of the Parthians, which is if you get to activate light units or a dark in the sky would have just all week. I was just thinking, if I get dark in the sky right from the beginning, who boy, <laughs> you know, yeah. that's like 26,000 dice. But it didn't happen. But I did get nope. to use it a little bit tonight. Well, you, you kept it out of my hands. Yeah. So. And yeah. I even got that Spartacus card. Like, yes, I'm going to shuffle the deck and then I'm going to draw dark in the sky. Yep. No. So one other little postscript to this story from the other side of this was that Serena, obviously the conquering hero, defeating the Romans, but it, he earned the ire of King Herodias, who was envious of all the love and adulation that was being thrown on his, his general there. So he did had him... too well. He did too well, and he was summarily executed by <laughs> Herodias. So... It's just, uh, you know, the Peter Principle, right? You rise to the level yeah. of you. So let that be a lesson to you there in the corporate world. Don't do too well. Just do well enough. Don't do it. Just do well enough. <laughs> That's right. Ugh. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this fine, fine horse theater tonight. A horse opera, as they like to say about the Old West. If you could take a moment to click that like button, or the subscribe, or both, or the notification oh. bell, oh, all three. They should do both. They should do oh, both oh. as good. And uh, and they could share, too. They share can, with a friend. Oh, that's right. Yes, tell your friends about this. Use the share button and uh, send these videos around to your, your family member that loves the ancients who doesn't realize it. Also, comment down there in the comment section below. If you give us your feedback, we have all of the frequent flyers we really appreciate that and of course i'm displaying our current supporters we got a couple more this week so thank you very much for your support of this channel ah that's all i got for tonight we're i'm looking forward to what's next yeah you're doing this research on the next one which is 42 bc uh philippi the first all right yeah, that looks complex passable hills swamps camps nice Everything that you love about commands and colors. Right here. Brutus. Cassius. Wow. Mm. This is going to be good. Well, thank you for the great games tonight, sir. And uh, fine, fine horsemanship you showed tonight. And thank you for the fine game as well. Yes. And I will see you next week. Have a good one. All right. Good night. Good night.